Hello everybody, Kathy Kellenberger here. I want to show you a super easy way to install SQL Server running in a Docker container. So one thing you have to have in place before you get started is you have to have Docker Desktop running in order to get this to work. I'm using an Azure VM and I had to use a pretty good size one. I'm running a D16 underscore V3 Azure VM. And be sure to check documentation about which versions of Windows and, and what the requirements are. I've got Docker running and I can verify that from command line or even more simply just going here and I can see Docker Desktop is running. The other thing I need is Azure Data Studio. So you can download Azure Data Studio and you can use it to connect to SQL servers in the cloud or on premises. And also it will work on Windows, Mac OS and Linux. And a lot of people haven't heard about it. So I really want to promote it wherever I can. So that's the key here. You've got to have this. So what I'm going to do is open up Azure Data Studio and this is what it looks like when you are just getting started. You can get that welcome page to never come up and notice this new deployment option. If the welcome window is already not coming up for you, if you already said, I don't want to see that, you can also get to the new deployment from right here, right next to the connections. So I'm going to click that and go to new deployment. And when I get there, I have three options. I can run SQL Server on Windows. And what this is going to do is just download the media for me and just get me started on a manual install. Okay, I don't really care about that right now. I'm interested in a SQL Server in a container. The, another option is that you can get your SQL Server big data cluster also configured. That's kind of out of the scope of what I care about today anyway. So I am interested in SQL Server container image. So one of the things that it does is that it makes sure before you click select and get started that you have Docker and then it's running. And you can see that it is installed for me. Everything looks good. So what I need to do is choose between SQL Server 2017 and 2019 because those are both supported in containers. I'm going to go with 2019 because I want to learn more about the new features and click select. I have to enter uh, a few things here. Nothing surprising. I'm going to get rid of this nice long thing here and just call it SQL 2019. And the reason I'm doing that is in case I have to type it in later in a command line, it'll be easier if it's a shorter name without that number. And I'm going to enter a password and re-enter it. And come up with a port. So this is a port that I'm going to use to connect to the SQL Server. The trick is you're, you've got to make sure that if you have other SQL Servers running that we're not specifying the same port. And just to make sure, I am going to change this to 2433. And that's all I really need to do here in order to get a notebook. Yes, I said a notebook created for building a, a SQL Server instance running in Docker. So what I can do is go ahead and look through this. And one thing that I will tell you is this is using Python code. If you have not used Python yet, what it will do is prompt you to install Python. So don't be surprised if that happens. And that's going to take a few minutes. I've already done that. I've already been running Python on here, so I don't have to do that step. But what I can do is just go through and kind of look at what some of the commands are. So like the Docker PS-A will show me a list of all the containers, whether they're running or not. Um, here's where we're, let's see, getting that password that I talked about and um, setting up the port. And here's where it's actually pulling the image 
that we're going to create the container from. So that's that's going to be running and starting the new container. Docker run command creates the container and also gets it started. So you can learn a lot from this if you would like to. But what you can do is just come up here and click Run Cells. So I'm going to do that. And this is just going to run. And you can see it's I'm not doing anything here. It's just going from command to command and just running everything. And it looks like it's done. Wow, that was very quick. And probably because I've tried this already and I already had the image downloaded. So that's probably why it took just a few seconds. So the next thing I can do is just click here to connect to my new SQL Server container. I'm getting an error. And before when I was playing with this, as I just had to wait a little bit, wait a few seconds, maybe up to a minute to make sure that SQL Server was up and running. And here are the connection properties in case I need it. I'm just going to cancel all of that and I'm going to wait just a minute. And actually, while I'm waiting, I'm just going to bring up a command window. And I'm going to just run Docker PS. And there I can see that image that I created and it says that it's up and running. So that looks good. And there it is. And at this point, I just have my system databases. I, so I just wanted to show you how with really no knowledge about Docker, I can create SQL Server running in a container. Of course, I want to learn all about it. And this notebook will help me do that. So thanks for watching and have fun playing with SQL Server and Docker.